I just wanna dance with you Let the whole world melt away And dance with you Who cares what other people think? Hello, Broadway.com! It's me, Caitlin Kinnanen, and you are watching my vlog, Dance With Me. Um, today, we're gonna do a little behind-the-scenes chat with some of our understudies and a, a member of our stage management company um, to see what they do in the show, and it's gonna be awesome. So, keep watching. All right, we are here with Kate. She is going on as Dee Dee Allen today. She's currently getting ready. Hi. She's doing her pin curls. I'm doing my pin curls. She's going to be a beautiful angel. She already is, but Aww, you know. Aw, thanks, Caitlin. So, Kate, yeah. who do you cover in the show? I cover Dee Dee Allen, played by the superb Beth Level. Um, I cover the role of Angie, played by the amazing Angie Schwar. I, play, I cover Mrs. Green, played by the wonderful Courtney Collins. And then I cover two featured ensemble tracks, uh, Olivia Keating and uh, another featured ensemble track, uh, Parent Role, played by Vasti Mom Point. That's so many people. <laughs> um, okay, so how, how do you do that? Because that's absurd. Hi, Brooksy. Brooks is here. How do you do that? Like, my brain can barely fit one character. How you know, do you that's, that's fit it. I that feel like many? this time will be a little bit easier because I was thrown on two shows after opening. That's right. At when cur the curtain was about to go up and the wonderful Beth Level apparently was ill. And she became ill right before the show started. So we stopped the show from going on and I ran off stage and got ready. So this time I have more rehearsal and I feel more, a little bit more, but I'm still terrified. But I, I more ready. Um, I compartmentalize in my brain. Okay. I have like little little discs of compartments in my brain for okay, this is my Angie disc. Okay, this is my my DD disc and my DD disc is in full full mode right now. That's amazing. And I get to play with you. Yay! Yay, I'm so excited. And I just really these this group of people is the most supportive compassionate, um, fun group of people I've honestly ever worked with and just the idea, although I'm terrified, to play with Brooks Ishmanskis and Christopher <laughs> Sieber and Angie Schwar and Michael Potts and David Josephsberg today. We're gonna talk to him in a minute. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Um, <laughs> It's just a real joy, and I, I'm never bored at work. I'm having so much fun, and of course, I get to play with you, That's which is amazing. you know an added bonus. Oh. Um, so I, I just, uh, I would, I wouldn't rather be on Broadway in any other show but this one. What is the hardest part about your job that people may not know? Um, the hardest part is I'm a perfectionist, and I really want the audience to get the best DD I can give them. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not Tony Award winning Beth Level, um, but I, I really try to embody everything that she does on stage yeah. as best I can um, with little to no rehearsal. Um, and I just want them to have a good time and get their money's worth, but also yeah. I want my fellow actors to, you know, to not get jilted on stage. So my, yeah. the hardest part is to make sure that I am not only doing the part as best I can vocally and, you know, being trying to be as funny as possible, but also to make sure I'm in the right spot, the exact right spot yeah. that they need. So that sometimes make me, makes me more nervous than missing a line. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can say from when she went on the weekend of opening, she nailed it. She made acting choices. She sounded amazing. She was always in the right spot. So like, she's a perfectionist, but she's She's nailing it. Thanks, She's incredible. Caitlin. But anyways, I might not nail it today. <laughs> she will. She will. I'm talking to oh. David Joseph Burke. Hey. Hi, guys. He is going on for Josh Joshua Lehman today. Um, who do you cover in the show? Uh, I cover uh, Josh Lehman. Mm -hmm. I cover Michael Potts. Surprise, Michael Potts. There he is. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so if I go on for him, I just have to move one seat over. <laughs> uh, Brooks Ashmanskis. <laughs> And um, Christopher Sieber. Okay. Tall, yes. short, yep. Jewish. Oh, okay. You know, different Who else? Types. Oh, and then two ensemble fellas. Okay, so that's a lot of people. It is a lot of people. Do you want me to look at you or into the camera? It doesn't matter. Should I do one eye each? <laughs> yeah, he's okay. very talented, you guys. That's beautiful. Um, so how do you do that? <laughs> uh, it's a struggle, to be honest. Uh, I actually, every day uh, at home, run at least two characters. Dang. Per day, That's and on a lot. every dog walk because I have two dogs, <gasps> I go over another person, just the lines. Okay. 
so this is you've crazy. been on a couple of times for this but, show. But you know, it is crazy, but I don't have to do the show most nights, so there's that. Speaking of that, what do you do normally during the show? Like if you're on versus whether you're not on. Mm -hmm. What's your routine? My routine is lots of coffee. <laughs> to have to get through listening to these people every no, uh, I'm just kidding. I love wow. watching the show every single time. I watch it probably three times a week. Okay. And I run dances up in the upper lobby three times a week. Great. One time, sometimes I might run some things, and then maybe one day I watch football or something. That's He's not a professional. That's today. It would be today, but oh, but honestly, instead you're going on. I'm going on for Josh Lemo. Do you get nervous when you go on? Every time. Every time? Every time. Okay. Um, what do you do about that? How do you handle being thrown on into a show? I try to breathe <laughs> and uh, just prepare, 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 prepare. That's my vocal, vocal warm -up. Okay, so we talked to Kate downstairs. Oh, she's got a lot to do with um, me. She does. But she said something about that she like has little discs in her mind that like Dee Dee is one disc. Angie is another disc. How do you keep all of the different characters that you cover Ooh. straight? Uh, they're not all straight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, bum, bum. Hey, oh, thank you. He's the worst. <laughs> I, I guess it's the same thing. I try to compartmentalize each okay. one. Uh, but it is nerve-wracking when you're uh, when you have little triggers for certain lines for certain people, and you hear the line and you think, "Oh, that's oh no, that's not my line." Yeah. That's scary. Though. Oh. So come today, it might be crazy. You know? <laughs> You've already done this track. You'll be fine. Yes, that's true. What is the best part about your job? Like, what do you think is the most fun? Um, well, it's not one part, so it's sort of exciting each and every time you go on. And uh, I like having something to do all day, every day. <laughs> you know, you're never bored. That's true. Uh, and I just love going on for each each. Well, so far the first two roles is great. We don't have to move on to the next one. We'll see ones how the other ones go. Yeah. They're going to be great. I can't sure. wait. One day he's going to go on as Barry Glickman, and um, I'm not going to be able to keep a straight face the entire show. I know. You know, the minute I first stepped into FDR... No, no don't do no, it. No, don't do it. No, see, I can't use, put him in my brain because my disc... No. Get back into my... Josh Lehman. Okay. I, well, I don't do Josh Lehman. I do my version of Sheldon Sapistine. You know what I'm talking about. All right, we're talking to Peyton, our amazing stage manager, one of our amazing stage managers. Um, today we're talking about understudies. So as a stage manager, what is your job dealing with understudies? Like, how do you prepare them? How do you uh, figure out what happens when they go on? Like, what, what goes on for a stage manager when understudies go on and need to learn the show? Well, exciting enough, we've got two on today. Um, two and a half. <laughs> um, uh, basically, so what we do for understudies is that we will swing them out of the show at least once, hopefully twice, which means that we'll pull them from the show and we'll put someone else in for them so that they can watch the person that they're understudying and then they can trail them backstage and mm -hmm. see what they do, so where their changes are, what costumes they're in, what props they're touching, where they're entering, just to kind of help them stay safe on stage. And then before they go in, we'll try and do a big put-in rehearsal that has all of the parts and pieces of the moving scenery and everything so that that way when they do go in they know what's happening and mm -hmm. what's in and out and above them and on stage with them because when so understudies rehearse about once a week um and when they rehearse they don't have any lights they don't have their costumes they don't have some of the set pieces or props necessarily and so a put-in rehearsal means that they get all of that you, they do full lights full costumes sound everything so they know what it feels like to actually do the show because doing a rehearsal versus going on during a show is very different yeah um what is the like what happens if an actor calls out of the show what's the protocol for a stage manager to get everyone on the same page knowing that an understudy is going on so if someone calls out we try and find out you know at least we ask for 90 minutes before the show to make sure that there's everyone in the building knows so we make sure that sound knows wardrobe wigs um, we make sure we talk to that understudy we make sure that they're ready see if they need anything on mm -hmm. stage or off stage or with music um, if they need to run anything on stage, we'll go down and run it with them. We'll get our dance captains involved. Um, and so then they pretty much, then at half hour, they just, they go into that person's dressing room and they get ready at their station. And then their dressers, they get their same dressers. So it's nice because they go right into that same track. That's awesome. What is the most stressful part for a stage manager having understudies go on? Keeping them safe. 
<laughs> hoping that they know where things are but happening. But that's important. Stage. That's so important. It's and really, you guys do really such important. a good job doing that. What's the most we fun? We sit in the wings a lot of the time saying, <laughs> please move. <laughs> please move. <laughs> please go up stage. <laughs> um, what's the most fun part about having an understudy go on for you? The energy. Yeah? Yeah. It's a great energy. It's a totally different show. It's good to see everyone like rally together and like totally different chemistry. Yay. Yeah. It's nice. Today we'll have great like great chemistry with our principals, which yeah. is exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Different show. <laughs> fun. <laughs> but fun show. Super fun. Yay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. And there you have it. That is the lives of some of our understudies and the viewpoint of a stage manager. Um, thanks for tuning in this week. I only have one week left, and that makes me really sad. Um, so tune in. It's, I hope it's going to be the best week. Um, but yeah, thank you again so much for watching. Um, you guys are the best, and I'll see you next week. Bye. I just want to dance with you. Let the whole world melt away and dance with you. Who cares what other people say?